Bhavesh Chaudhary and his mother, Shushila, continuously churn these bilonas for up to an hour. If they stop for even a second, this batch of ghee will be ruined. Bilona ghee is clarified butter that's hand churned using a certain type of wooden beater called a bilona and made from the milk of South Asian cow breeds. In general, ghee is more expensive than traditional butter. And in India, ghee made this way can cost over three times as much as factory made ghee. But there are plenty willing to pay the price. So, ghee ki importance hai, wo aisi hai ki ek kawat hai ki ghee khao chahe karja lekar khao. So why has this ghee risen to the top? And why is it so expensive? Ghee is a staple of South Asian cooking. It's commonly eaten on chapati, lentils, rice and more. Because of the clarification process, ghee's flavour is nuttier and more concentrated than butter. But aside from taste, there are practical reasons to choose ghee over butter. Without any milk solids, ghee can be stored for a longer time without spoiling. Plus, it has a higher smoke point than butter, which means it's better suited for cooking at high temperatures. Making this nutty, nutritious ghee requires time, specialized equipment, and happy cows. Bhavish's process starts at 5.30 in the morning in Rajasthan, India. Whereas most butter is made by churning cream, this type of ghee is made like cheese by separating curds and whey from milk. The cream method is mechanized and is what's used commercially to make a lot of ghee quickly. Whereas the bilona method is done completely by hand. On Bavish's farm, he and his team need 30 hours to produce just one kilogram of ghee. Good ghee requires a good pot, which Barvish must select with his ears. According to Barvish, a good pot rings like a bell, while a low quality one has invisible flaws that make it sound flat. The perfect pot is important because the entire process, from raw milk to ghee, takes place inside it. After heating the milk from morning to night and then letting it cool until the next day, he adds a starter to the milk to jumpstart the curdling process. The ghee is left to culture. Fermenting the milk in this way allows the ghee to develop complex flavors not commonly found in other types of butter. Using rope and a post for stability, Barvish and Shushila twist the bilona back and forth to agitate the curd. इसमें लंबा प्रोसेस रहता है, थोड़ा सा पेशेंस रखना पड़ता है। The Bilona method goes back thousands of years, and the tools haven't changed much. It only takes around two hours to make a bilona by hand from shisham wood, but you have to be in the right place to buy one. Barvish sources new bilonas from elders in the village. को उनको नॉलेज होता है बनाने का क्योंकि लकड़ी को जब अपन घुमाते हैं तो उस वो लकड़ी भी एकदम सीधी होनी चाहिए अगर उसमें बैंड होगा तो अच्छे से नहीं घूमेगी और नीचे जब उसके चार पंखुड़ियां होती हैं तो चारों का भी बैलेंस होना चाहिए While the bilona is in use the wood absorbs oil from the key This helps to preserve the tool and extend its life 
जो बिलोना लकड़ी हम काम में ले रहे हैं ये तो मेरे बचपन से भी पहले की है It takes about an hour of continuous churning to separate the butter from the buttermilk. और उसके बाद में अपने को ठंडा पानी डालना पड़ता है लास्ट में और फिर अपना जो मक्खन है वो पूरा अच्छी तरह से ऊपर तैरने लगता है. The result of all that churning is this: makkhan or cultured butter. To turn it into ghee, Bavish heats it up again. Boiling the butter clarifies it, which means the liquid is separate from the milk solids. The longer he cooks the ghee, the nuttier the aroma and deeper its golden color. The sweet spot is usually around 1 to 2 hours. What's left in the pot is bilona ghee, ready to be shipped out and eaten. But only after a blessing from Shushila. Lassi ko aise namaskar karte hain suriya se ki ye bhagwan hame लस्सी दी है ऐसे में लस्सी सभी को दे अच्छा घी दे अच्छा दूध लस्सी दे बाविश एंड हिज फैमिली हैव मेड घी फॉर जनरेशंस बट इन 2020 ही टुक हिज बिजनेस ऑनलाइन इन 2022 द ग्लोबल घी मार्केट पीक्ड एट 49.2 बिलियन डॉलर्स सम एस्टिमेट्स एक्सपेक्ट दैट नंबर टू हिट 73.5 बिलियन डॉलर्स बाय 2028 and demand for a product like Barvish's continues to grow as well even when it can cost around 3 times as much as the industrial version that's because his ghee comes from these indigenous cows all of these cows are south asian breeds popularly known as desi cows a desi cow produces about 10 to 12 liters of milk a day that's half as much as industrial cows and nothing can happen if a calf isn't around but bavish says the quality of their milk makes up for the lower yield desi gai ka jo dudh rehta hai wo kafi gaada rehta hai usme fat content zyada rehta hai aur jo khane mein jo mithas aati hai wo zyada milti hai it takes over 20 liters of milk to make just 1 liter of ghee so when demand is high bavish buys milk from other farmers in the village to keep up Ghee made using Barvish's methods from the milk of indigenous cows is often marketed as A2 desi ghee. A2 refers to a specific type of protein found in milk, beta casein. While milk from western dairy cows contains both A1 and A2 beta casein, milk from desi cows only contains the A2 protein. In researching what this difference means, A 2016 study found that A2 milk was easier for people with lactose intolerance to digest. वो वो बोलते हैं ना कि कुछ चीजें साइंस से भी परे होती हैं। For many of Barvish's customers, the difference between A1 and A2 ghee is an Ayurvedic and religious one. जैसा खाए अन वैसा होए मन। तो अगर अपन किसी दुखी गाय का दूध घी खा रहे हैं, तो अपन कहीं ना कहीं दुखी फील करेंगे। Bavish's biggest orders come from cities nationwide but they are a long way from his remote village. गांव से शहर के लिए डायरेक्ट कोई कोरियर सर्विस मिलना मतलब थोड़ा सा चैलेंजिंग रहता है. But despite the logistical challenges, Bavish likes the work. उसमें कोई टफ पार्ट नहीं है उसमें मजा आता है सुबह के टाइम में एक तो अपनी अच्छी खासी एक्सरसाइज हो जाती है अपना पसीना भी निकल जाता है बॉडी का. और हेल्थ ही बनी रहती है हेल्थ बनी रहेगी एक्सरसाइज हो जाएगी जिम जाने की जरूरत नहीं है और अच्छा घी निकल के आएगा अपने को